In today's video, we're going to be going over how we can create a 3D rotation effect on any view we want. So for example, we might have a rectangle or a button or so on, and we might want to add some really nice effects to it, such as this rotation effect. So what we'll be making is this app over here that just gives us a really nice effect to our view and it rotates it. And we can actually rotate it on the Z axis, the X axis and the Y axis. So that's up to you. But what we're going to be going over in this tutorial is exactly how to do just that. So let's get started immediately by creating a new empty project. And let's resume that. And we do not need the sidebar. So we can just go ahead and get started with a variable, which will be at state private var degrees. And this will be for the amount of degrees you want it to rotate. So we need to keep track of that through a state variable. Next inside the body, we can go ahead and create a V stack so we can start stacking views. And we will start with a spacer at the top and a spacer at the bottom. Now, right between the spacers, we're going to go ahead and create a linear gradient. And we're just going to type in gradient. It's going to require a start point and an end point. So for the gradient, we just provide a gradient and that takes an argument of colors. And for this example, we're going to use dot red and dot blue. And the start point is going to be top leading. So it will start from the top left corner and end in the bottom right, which will be dot bottom trailing. Then we should give this a frame and the width will be set to 300 and the height to 200. And we do not need the alignment. We'll provide a corner radius so it looks more like a credit card and that will be set to 10. Now it's actually very easy to add this 3D effect. All we have to do is call rotation 3D effect and it's going to take an angle which is going to be based on the dot degrees which takes a degrees parameter. And here's where you can select whether you want it to be on the X, the Y or the Z axis or all three together. So inside here we want to create a tuple and X will be initially set to zero. We can set Y to one, which means true, and Z will be set to zero as well. Now, I also wanted a slider to be able to control this so we can actually use it in practice. So right below the spacer, we can go ahead and type in slider and the value is going to be bound to the degrees. So degrees in the range of zero to 1080. And we will give that some padding. So right now, immediately, if we go ahead and run this, you're going to notice that we can actually turn the card with the slider, which is really, really cool. And also if we decide to activate X and Z, we're going to get some really crazy effects because it changes all of the axes at the same time. So now if we rotate it, you're going to notice this very crazy flipping effect and it's just so much fun to play around with. You can create anything you want with these axes. It's very simple. You just add this rotation 3D effect modifier and it's done like that. But of course, let's leave it to Y so it looks like a turning credit card. And finally, we can also go ahead and add a button to animate this. So we type in animate and all we have to do is type in with animation. And we're gonna type in self dot degrees is going to equal plus equal 180. So now every time we click the animate button, it's going to flip the card for us. It's a really nice animation and it can be used for credit cards or for other views or for whatever you feel like. It's gonna look really, really good in the app. And again, we can go ahead and also experiment with adding X and Y at the same time. So if we do that and click on animate, we're gonna get something crazy like that. And it looks really good. So I definitely recommend you keep this into account when you create your app, because it's such a simple detail to add that can make your app look really, really good. But with that being said, guys, that's actually all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.